Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinemasound.com. Today we're going to be talking about a really cool plugin called Convology XT. And um, you know, one of the great things that you can do to become a superhero for your friends in post is to be able to record an impulse response uh, while you're on set, so that when you're doing your ADR or voiceover, if you want to recreate what the sound was on set, you don't have to fool around with reverbs. You just pull an impulse response into a particular plugin that will process it, and you're good to go. We talk about this all the time on Cinema Sound, how to do it, but this plugin, Convology, not only does this better than anything we've ever seen, but also has some really cool vintage and new reverb possibilities for you that just isn't available anywhere. Let's roll. All right, we're here in Adobe Audition, and if you've never been in Adobe Audition, I invite you to come to our website, cinemasound.com, and stream our product, Adobe Audition 123. We basically take you from, uh, I don't know how to use Audition, I've never opened it, all the way to Hollywood-level deliveries in surround sound in about three hours. It's totally dope. So here, I've got a piece of ADR that we recorded. Um, just it, We actually did it in a looping fashion, which we show you how to do, which is about 10 times faster than ADR anyway. Here's just the dialogue by itself. That was a terrarium citizen life systems compromised and then she loops that was a terrarium citizen life systems compromised cool when we want to bring in convology here let's see i want to just put it on a track let me just do it the real way here here's effects rack and you can do clip effects or track effects i'm going to do track effects so that it processes all clips on a particular track all right so here we go and i'm just going to drop it into the au version impulse record convology xt there we are. Bang. Look at this cool interface. So it, for the most part, it looks like any old reverb that you would generally be using. And one of the great things, I mean, unbelievably cool things about Convology is what it has under the hood in terms of uh, vintage reverbs. And for any of you who have used the old 480L, you know how awesome it is. They have this thing sampled, the impulse responses for this down to the T. And that's basically the power of Convology. In fact, let's just load large church. You can see how fast this loads. And it shows you here uh, the, the, uh, the, it's called an impulse response, um, the convolution that's running, which is super cool. So it's not just the presets, but you see the convolution that's running. So let's just take a look at what have I got a mix here at about 40%. Sure. That was the Citizen Life Systems Compromised. Here, let's try Large Hall. That was the Citizen Life Systems Compromised. Large Room. That was the Citizen Life Systems Compromised. Medium Hall. That was the Citizen Life Systems Compromised. Backslap. That was the Citizen Life Systems Compromised. You can see how awesome this is. And this is exactly what you would have gotten out of that. Well, I don't know how much we used to pay for it back in the 80s and 90s, but a very expensive reverb with way, way more possibilities available to you. In fact, let's just dump in, dump, let's jump into this. Uh, I'm going to go back to the large church again. Just kind of run you through some of the basics here. Here you have um, the IR settings. This is actually if you've done your own impulse response, which I'm going to show you how cool that is. Uh, you can have the audio file normalized or put it into reverse. Watch what happens here. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. That was a terrarium citizen. Super dope. Instant reverse reverb. And then on Cinema Sound, we're always talking about with respect to algorithmic reverbs, uh, that they can kind of sound boring, and that we can add modulation, like a chorus to it. And we can do the same thing here, just kind of turn up the depth for big sounds like this, although these are convolutions and sound beautiful, but you can still do it. In fact, let's just turn up the mix fully. <laughs> So it adds a little bit of whooshiness if we turn it off. Kind of gives it a little more interest. For this, you don't really need it. It's nicer than to put it in there, though. I'm going to put the mix back here to 40%. And then you have actual stretch and decay uh, with respect to the impulse response. I mean, it's just incredible the power we have here. So I can stretch this out four times uh, the length of the initial impulse response. That was the true citizen life systems compromised. That was a terrarium citizen life systems compromised. That was a and I want to just have you notice how incredible, uh, there's just no artifacts here or anything. It's amazing. And then, of course, you can make it uber short. That was a terrarium citizen life systems compromised. And this is, you know, the large church setting here which, you know, it's pretty cool. And then we have a general decay, which again, similarly affects the uh, convolution. That was a terrarium citizen life systems compromised. Or make it super, super long. That was a terrarium citizen life systems compromised. But now it's making the unstretched version super long. So you can actually take a stretched version and make it super long. Check this out. Citizen life 
for some pretty cool effects. I mean, that's pretty awesome. And then, of course, if you hold down option on any of these parameters, it drops back to its default. And then you have pre-delay, which is, you know, what we would expect on any kind of reverb. That was the truth. Which delays the reflections from coming in for a moment. Right? That was the truth. And this goes all the way out to a second, which is super cool. And then, yeah, I've been already using mix. And then with, check out the stereo width on this. That was a Citizen life system's compromised. Whoa. That was a terrarium. Citizen life system's compromised. And all the way back to mono. Now, it's not very mono compatible, that stereo width. But, hey, it's super cool, especially if you were having to do surround and things like that. All right, let's jump into... I love this word dump I'm using. Jump. Let's jump into some of the really cool stuff about this. Um... Okay, well, we have time here. This is the actual convolution of the 480L, this particular patch I have up here. And you can change, actually, where it starts on the wave, which is crazy. That was a true and like, let's just listen to the reverb by itself. That was a true and we're going to take the start zero. That was you can make it really, really late. That was so it's basically cutting into after reverb, after reflections, which is awesome. And we have hold here, which means it's going to last as long as possible. But if we turn this off, attack and release really come into play. Check this out. There's basically nothing there because there's no attack and no release. But if I give it a few milliseconds of release. That was the terrarium citizen life systems comp. A little bit more. That was the terrarium citizen life systems. A little bit more. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. Now this is the same convolution, but I'm altering the convolution, the IR, the impulse response is what I mean to say, by just changing the re release controls. Now watch what happens if I slow down the attack. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. There's a little bit of beautiful pre-delay. If I make the release really long. That was the terrarium. And the attack. I mean, it's incredible what you can do with just a few controls. These are all very, very different reverbs that we we would definitely want to be using in post for uh, you know recreating you know rooms, uh, cars, whatever. In fact, I wanted to make a car sound out of this gigantic large church room. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. Now you're at a car, which is super cool. Now you can add cool uh, gating effects by using uh, the hold. Check this out. That was the and if then, once the hold starts happening, then the release becomes sort of the hard, how hard that gate is. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. Totally cool. Now, you ready to have your heads blown off? Oh, wait, I got to show you one more cool thing. I'm going to make this back to its 20 second non gated hold. So we know about EQ in reverb. Uh, you know, this has a nice several bands of EQ to do, you know, a little graphic. Sure, we can add some lows. We can cut off the super lows. No problem. And you can look at it by clicking on these if you want or just resetting it. But what this has is the ability to, again, change the impulse response and how it responds. So if I turn up these down here on decay, it's actually working with messing with the, the math of the algorithm. That was the truth. It's not just an EQ, it's actually messing with the math on the impulse response. And of course you can do the EQ too. Pretty awesome stuff. And then of course with this you can just reset it. Super cool. All right, now... So here in this particular window, we've got, you know, all the plates and springs and, you know, vintage gear that they've got for us, user presets. But if I go to file browser, it goes to my local drives. And what I'm going to do is load my own impulse response. Now, we recorded this back when we did the Macbeth scene for the Cinema Sound Education. And we show you how to do your own impulse responses very, very easily. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go to the drive I want here. This one uh let's see where am i at here there and there and there it is just an audio file not even any kind of special file i load it and you again you can see there it's showing the macbeth impulse response forward left and right now here it is that was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised and it sounds great. It's a process of what we've done because, again, Convology is messing with and, and changing the actual impulse response. But if we take this to its normal, uh, actually, let's just, yeah, we'll create one, one, one. Well, this is all fine and dandy. Make this here. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. 
we can easily recreate the room we were in. That was a terrarium, citizen. Life system's compromised. That was a terrarium, citizen. Life system's compromised. In moments. And even make it a little wider if I want. That was a terrarium, citizen. Life system's compromised. And if we turn it off? That was a terrarium, citizen. Life system's compromised. And basically, it's a living room with some couches in it. That was a terrarium, citizen. Life system's compromised. And bam, I've got that room back. ADR is going to sound exactly like it did on set, even when we move back and forth, even when we match the microphones, because the reverb we're using is the reverb. And if it isn't, and if you didn't quite get your recording quite right, it doesn't matter, because you have all of these parameters that are available in Convology to be able to mess with and change and make it into anything you want. And I mean, we did this with a large hall. <laughs> so this is an incredible tool for us in post to be able to get our ADR and voiceovers right when we do our impulse response correctly uh, on set. And then a host of other great reverbs. I only showed you one. There's like, I don't know, hundreds in there. This thing, you got to go have it. So Convology is available right now and you can dump it immediately into your favorite DAW. Hopefully this video has been valuable to you. If so, please subscribe to this channel and come visit us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds of videos and articles to give you that unfair competitive advantage that Hollywood has, but you'll have it in immersive audio and production value for your own productions. Until then, we'll see you in post.